Today's tour is a unique off-grid solar panel system that can offset $1,000 in electricity every year. It's powerful enough to charge an EV, but simple enough to run off a single power station. To make it even more interesting, the setup is located on top of shipping containers. Let's take a look. The site itself is a drive through order pickup location for a business. As you approach, you wouldn't realize that it could be fully off-grid, as it is located in the middle of an industrial park. However, if you look just right, you can catch a glimpse of what's going on. Six shipping containers line one side of the drive through structure. On top of them is an array of 15 bifacial solar panels. Each panel is 395 watts. The 15 panels are divided into two strings, one small string of four panels and a second larger string of 11 panels. I'll explain more about those two different strings later in the video. In total, the 15 panels can produce 5,925 watts from the front side and up to 25% more from backside bifacial gain. All the panels are mounted to eco-worthy racks, connected to a lumber base, and then secured to the top of the shipping containers. While we didn't get into all the details of how they were secured, one of the unique methods I noticed was a custom unistrut bracket clamped to the top lip of the containers. To increase solar production, white roofing paint is being applied behind the array to assist with reflection and bifacial gain. Even the first coat they applied has helped increase output by a few percentage points. Now let's take a look at how the solar power from the panels gets stored and used on site. The solar array runs off the roof, down one side of a container, across a short underground run, and into the workshop building that's located on site. Inside the workshop, the two sets of wires one for each string of panels, feeds through disconnect switches and into an EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra with three batteries. The Delta Pro Ultra inverter is capable of outputting up to 7,200 watts of AC power. The batteries are six kilowatt hours each for a total of 18 kilowatt hours of storage. Now let's talk about those two separate solar strings again. The Delta Pro Ultra has two PV inputs, a low input capable of up to 1600 watts at a maximum of 150 volts, and a high input capable of 4000 watts at a max of 450 volts. The string of four panels is connected to the low input, and the 11 panel string is connected to the high input. It is important to note that this is very close to the limit of the Delta Pro Ultra. The total voltage on each string is basically at the maximum that the Delta Pro Ultra can handle, and it could be too high in cold weather when voltage increases. To be safe, the owner does disconnect one panel from each string before the cold winter weather. So when temperatures start to drop in the fall, there are actually three panels wired to the lower voltage input and 10 panels wired to the high voltage input. According to the PV Watts website, a system like this could generate about eight megawatts of electricity per year. While it can be difficult to use all the solar power generated in an off-grid system, even if you were able to use six of those megawatts, at the US national average of 16 and a half cents per kilowatt hour, that still equates to about $1,000 worth of electricity savings each and every year. Compared to many DIY setups that I've seen, this is definitely a fairly sizable array, capable of powering a small home, at least part of the time. Since this installation isn't at a house, you might be wondering what they're going to use the system for. In addition to EV charging while at work, there are security cameras, a DVR, and computer equipment running 24-7. Combined, those items alone 
average about 130 watts. Over a 24-hour period, that's a consistent 3 kilowatt hours of energy consumed each and every day. However, even in a low solar production month, like January or December, this system is still likely to output way more than that. Looking at the monthly info from PV watts, low months will still hit a daily average of 14 kilowatt hours. After powering their computers and security gear, that still leaves a sizable 11 kilowatt hours of daily energy to power the rest of their shop equipment. This includes a CNC router, dust collection system, laser cutter, large format printer, and more. The biggest power draw will be electric vehicle charging, and with the Delta Pro Ultra capable of pumping out 7200 watts, you could probably charge a car at or near 30 amps. However, to leave some room for other equipment on this system, setting vehicle charging to 24 amps or lower would leave available power for the other shop devices. If you're doing the math, 24 amps is still 5,700 watts going into an EV. Looking at the PV watts data again, in peak summer solar in June and August, this system has the potential for solar production of over 25 kilowatt hours per day. That's enough extra energy to charge up an EV with about 100 miles of range, depending, of course, on the size and efficiency of the vehicle. Well, that's about all I have to cover on this system today. As you may have noticed, there are still a few items that need to be completed, but I found it to be a very versatile setup that can easily run their day-to-day -day operations while still having enough power for a couple of larger devices when needed. If you enjoyed this video tour, please hit the like button and subscribe for more content. As always, thanks for watching.